the YouTube algorithm is so fucking weird sometimes that there were a lot of people that when you'd watch like a silly cat video, you'd get recommended a monkey torture video. This is overall good news, but sad that it took this long. Fucking horrible stuff, man. The Virginia man known as Torture King, Michael McCartney. Celebrating the arrest of Torture King, no doubt. He looks exactly how you'd expect him to look, too. He even has a teardrop tattoo. Jeepers, creepers. That means he's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what that means. How long had this been going on for? Years. And I'm sure, like, I'm sure there's still monkey torture videos on YouTube. Like, he just was the biggest proponent of it. For some reason, this is an actual genre of content people make. It's craziness. But this guy was the, I don't know, main distributor. The main enthusiast of it. And now they got him. But why would they do it, though? They're just sick people. Disgusting, evil vermin. Not just YouTube, they have nasty Telegram shit where they share videos in group chats. Yeah, it's what it says right here, that they'd go through Telegram to solicit and collect money. But I think most people became aware of it because a lot of it was publicly posted on YouTube under, like, really innocuous names to try and skirt the algorithm. I think, is it Mudahar? I can't remember who, but someone did a full investigation of this, like, two years ago. I can't remember what channel it was, but there, there was a lot of it on YouTube, probably still is. It was Mudahar that made the video about it, I thought so. No idea, Arrow. I couldn't tell you. It's just sick. Oh, I didn't know this. One of the people charged is a former Navy officer, David Christopher Noble. Hmm. A Navy guy, huh? That's sad. The monkey torture online community came to light in part due to the efforts of one Los Angeles resident, Lucy Capitanic. Used to relax after work like many of us do, settling in on her sofa and watching animal videos on YouTube, but the more she watched, the more she noticed that the, pat the platform's algorithm was taking odd turns. YouTube began showing her videos that gradually became violent in nature, culminating in the provider putting monkey torture videos into her streaming recommendations. Appalled, she began to investigate further so that she could expose the culprits to authorities. Eventually, Captain Ek, Cap, I don't know how to say that last name, I'm probably butchering it, was able to get access to a group on Telegram that focused on monkey torture. Afterwards, she turned her, invest her evidence over to police. Well, that's a W. At least she got it. She got him. She definitely wasn't the only one, though. I wonder how closely she worked with, like, law enforcement or something, because, again, Mudahar and a couple others were talking about the monkey torture circuit for a long time. This wasn't unusual. The YouTube algorithm is so fucking weird sometimes that there were a lot of people that when you'd watch, like, a silly cat video, you'd get recommended a monkey torture video. YouTube released a statement to BBC News claiming that they were diligently working to eradicate all videos depicting animal cruelty, including monkey torture, from its online platform. The streaming service further revealed that they had already worked to remove several hundred thousand videos with the aforementioned themes in the last year alone. Several hundred thousand monkey torture videos on YouTube. Imagine how many were floating around in that telegram. Jesus Christ. She raided his compound herself like Arnie and Commando. <laughs> yeah, Lucy showed up fucking double fisting miniguns in each arm. Showed up to McCartney's house. McCartney faces up to five years in pre federal prison for his part in the monkey torture ring, but if additional charges are filed, the Virginia man might well serve more time. Five years for this is so... silly. Like, they just don't take this shit seriously. They never have. It's so weird to me. People that enjoy this kind of content are fucking insane. Yeah. And I don't know why it's not punished harder for the people that produce it. I really don't. We What was the stat? We brought it up on stream a couple times in the past. Like, most serial killers start with torturing and killing animals and shit. Like, it's just the easiest red flag. Just be like, nah, this person's not fit to be in society. Several hundred thousand monkey torture videos, five years in jail, you're, you're out of your fucking mind. You're off your gourd. McCartney's... The group headed by McCartney was named Apes Cage and had a global membership of more than 400 people. While many of the individuals paying for monkey torture videos are in the United States, the investigation shows that Australia and the United Kingdom had significant viewers. In a grotesque admission, McCartney told investigators that the group had online polls to determine what type of torture the monkeys would undergo. In an interview last year, the man told federal authorities that he would fully cooperate and that he believed that the right thing for him to do was help take down the ring. In what, would be cons in what could be considered a statement that nullified any remorse McCartney feels, he added that his mistake was making a profit on the videos. God, what a fucking lunatic. I can't understand why people would want to see videos of animals getting tortured. It's really fucked up. Well, it's just fucked up sick people in the world, man. It's that simple. They're just bad people out there. 
Why are they doing it exactly? Because they liked torturing monkeys and people were paying to watch them be tortured. It's a twisted world.